Brian Fisher is getting more and more entertaining by the day. Listen to what he has for us today. President Obama, we find out this morning, is going to have a high-level meeting at the White House with representatives of the Muslim Brotherhood. Talking about selling out this country, the infiltration of the Muslim Brotherhood into the, the upper structures of the Obama administration. John Brennan, who is the head of the CIA, these are the guys that are supposed to be responsible to get the intelligence on jihadist attacks against the United States of America that are coming from Muslims. That's where they're all coming from. They're all coming from Muslims. John Brennan is a Muslim. He is a Muslim convert, converted to Islam when he was in Saudi Arabia in the 90s. And he's the guy that's supposed to protect us from Muslims. He's a devout Muslim. He's a diehard Muslim. He believes what Muslims believe. And we're supposed to trust him? I can't get enough of this guy. I can't get enough of this guy. So uh, where to begin? Oh, your President Obama, he's meeting with the Muslim Brotherhood to, uh, he's going to talk about uh, selling out the country. Selling out the country? Uh, could you imagine, seriously, imagine we actually lived in uh, Brian Fisher's fantasy bubble and uh, President Obama is like, all right, guys, uh, single file, come on in, Muslim Brotherhood, sit down, take a seat, take a seat. Okay, we're going to open up bidding. We'll start with Nebraska. And uh, $18 million, who's we going to pay $18 million, $18 million, $18 million for Nebraska, and uh, 80 million. you know, I'm talking about the, you know, the guys at the auction. And uh, $18 million, $18 million, $18 million, sold to the man in the, in the burqa. <laughs> like, that's so absurd. Uh, who wants South Dakota? Raise your hand. You're going to sell out America in uh, a meeting with the Muslim Brotherhood. And then uh, he talks about, well, they're having the meetings because he wants the Muslim Brotherhood in the upper levels of government. Okay, understand, you, do you realize what just happened in Egypt? Okay, there was a coup of the government. You know who was the government that got overthrown? The Muslim Brotherhood. You know what one of the reasons was as to why they overthrew them? They didn't like the fact that they were implementing some religious policies. You couldn't get the Muslim Brotherhood to be accepted in the most populous Muslim country in the world, but according to Brian Fisher, the Muslim Brotherhood is going to infiltrate the government in a country that has less than 1% Muslims. And of the less than 1% Muslims, Probably 1% of them is actually sympathetic to the Muslim Brotherhood. Dude, 76% of America is Christian. And we're going to have the Muslim Brotherhood trot in and uh, take over the government? That's so random. Might as well. Uh, you know, we're uh, very fearful of the Hindus taking over uh, the American government today. Why? There's no Hindus in the U.S. What are you talking about? Uh, these Buddhists, I'm telling you, they're going to make a run for it in the midterm elections. It's, you know, the Buddhists are going to wipe us out. Brian, you're a lunatic. You have no idea what you're talking about. And then, of course, uh, he slipped in that um, ter Muslims are the ones that are terrorizing us. It's Muslims. It's Muslims, right? Dude, it's not only Muslim. This is the biggest right-wing canard that there is. They say, oh, no, no, it's only Muslims that commit uh, terrorism. Really? So then why is it uh, there was a Department of Homeland Security uh, and CIA and FBI study that was started under the Bush administration, right? So it was a conservative Republican who issued the study. The people that were the head of those departments were conservative Republicans, right? They did this study on terrorism, big study. You know what they found? Over 50% of the terrorist attacks in the US were done by right-wing extremists. Militia movements, abortion clinic bombings, things of that nature. They concluded that was the biggest threat facing the US. But you don't hear Brian Fisher talk about that, do you? In fact, Left-wing terrorism was the second biggest amount of terrorism, of people called eco-terrorists. Muslims were in third or fourth at 12 percent, but nope, he's only, he's only scared of Muslims. It, the guy's unbelievable, and uh, of course I saved the best for last. John Brennan is a Muslim? All right, John Brennan, let me show you a picture of him, here, take a look. Brennan is the least Muslim guy in American history. I mean, the dude is Whitey McHunkyington, and his nickname is Cracker McCracker. Oh, look at this guy. This guy's Muslim? Yeah, I see him all over here. I have no idea if that's how Muslim prayer goes. But, uh, he's not Muslim!
Muslim, of course he's not Muslim. He worked it under the Clinton administration and the CIA, under the Bush administration, now under the Obama administration. He's been in all these different administrations, been doing intelligence work the entire time. And also, by the way, uh, this is a guy who was the first to defend the drone policy under the Obama administration. The drone policy, which, mind you, has killed not only terrorists, but also a tremendous number of Muslim civilians, including women and children. If he's Muslim, he's got a weird way of showing it, by being in favor of killing innocent Muslims all the time. Brian Fisher, I never get, fun, uh, get tired of debunking his nonsense.